YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. As you know, it's your girl Shirley, and today it's a Trader Joe's haul. Life is a twin mom. This is my life. Welcome to it. All right, guys, for those of you who don't know, I did start a Facebook group for Trader Joe's lovers like ourselves. We would love for you to go join us over there. It is just another place where we can connect, we can review products, we can discuss things, anything Trader Joe's or grocery haul related. We would love for you to join us. If that's your kind of thing, check the description box. There's a link. Come on by. All right, guys, so the first thing I want to share with you is this maple water that I picked up. It's supposed to have half of the calories and half of the sugar that you're going to find in coconut water we love coconut water in our house um, at least my kids really like it so to find something with half the sugar and half the calories I'm hoping that they'll like it it's supposed to be light and refreshing and have like a little bit of a sweet taste to it the girl said this has only been on the shelf for two days so I'm excited to try out this I also picked up this Greek yogurt it's flavored it's a peanut butter and jelly Greek yogurt Doesn't that sound kind of good the jelly is actually strawberry jelly and it's supposed to have a good amount of protein in it and be like a really good quick grab-and-go kind of snack or even breakfast so we picked up four we'll see if the kids like them next I picked up this Mediterranean dip so like hummus is with chickpeas this dip is made with a base of walnut and it has some uh, I think red and green peppers in it and my kids love hummus and I like hummus but I think I like this better I'm a big walnut girl and I have no idea how to pronounce it Mahamara 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 yeah, I don't know, something like that, guys. But I'm going to give this a try. It also has some pomegranate juice in it. Kind of weird. Like, I don't, the walnuts, the roasted red peppers, the pomegranate juice kind of throws me off. So I'm not sure if we will like it or not, but it was definitely interesting enough for me to pick up. So now they have a new raw almond butter. Um, I usually buy their regular almond butter because I broke my food processor trying to make raw almond butter. Uh, with theirs I've made a few batches and after a while it just broke I kind of gave up on it so for like seven or eight bucks to get this already done and I don't have to worry about food processing it for four hours okay so no one in our family has a gluten allergy or gluten intolerance at all um, but I do know that it is something that's harder for the body to break down and they came out with a lot of gluten free there's white bread now I picked up the whole grain bread but there's white bread I think there's even bagels in this line too so if you do have a gluten issue you might really want to check and see the new line that they have out I've heard really good things about this um, one of my girls in the Facebook group was raving about this that's the only reason I picked it up so thank you girl I got this for you last but not least I picked up the bacon-esque white cheddar popcorn this has been out for a while but it just hasn't been in my store this is one of the things I was trying to get for you in my last haul there was two things I was only able to find one the other one, I don't know, they're still telling me they have no idea when they're getting it in. So hopefully I'll be able to show you that soon. But I've never tried this, like bacon and popcorn. I, I like them both. I don't know if I'll like them together. You guys want to try it? Let's try it. Okay, guys, there's a little place for you to tear. It rips. The bag doesn't open that way. It doesn't smell like bacon at all. Smells like white cheddar popcorn. What tastes like bacon? That's weird. It tastes like a bacon bit. That like first bite tastes like fake bacon. Oh, guys, I don't like them. All right, in case you don't know, Trader Joe's has an amazing return policy. I can take these back. They will ask me a question. They will say, absolutely no problem, Shirley. Let me give you back your money. That is like the awesome thing about Trader Joe's. Also, if you aren't really sure if you're going to like something, take it to the sample station. They will open it up for you. They'll let you try it in the store, and then you don't even have to worry about taking something home that you don't like. I feel guilty when I don't like stuff from Trader Joe's. I feel like it's my mama's cooking and I'm just like offending her for some reason. I am like so in love with Trader Joe's that it makes me feel bad. They're not horrible. They're not, but it's just weird, guys. I don't know. Fake bacon and cheddar. Not a good combo. Okay, this time we spent $213.28, so let's see what we got. Okay, the first thing I have is the Italian blood orange soda. We picked up two of those. Then we also picked up a gallon of organic milk. We picked up quite a bit of um, 
what are these things, <laughs> bananas. Uh, I have some that are green and some that are ripe and ready to go now. I picked up the medley of um, seedless grapes. I normally just do green or um, red, and this time he wanted both. That would have cost me like eight bucks or nine bucks for two packages. This one was only six. I picked up some sweet bell peppers. They're kind of done with the sugar snap peas for the moment. Some avocados, some lemons uh, to go with lemonade and iced tea, some beet hummus for the carrots. And if you saw my Dollar Tree haul, then we got this new peeler. So we didn't get the already peeled ones because the boys want to help. And then they can help peel uh, this cucumber for their hummus as well. I picked up some strawberries. Um, we were at my girl's house and she had raspberries and the kids loved them. So I guess they liked them again. They didn't like them for a while. Uh, and then we picked up the pomegranate seeds. They love those on top of their um, Greek yogurt. And we haven't gotten plain in a while, but it is honey and it's all right. Uh, we have the banana and then the strawberry. They like those for their lunch. I picked up some butter. We love this juice. This is for my husband and I. There's no sharing involved. This is just for us. <laughs> the boys really like this Dixie peach, so we got that one for them. And we also picked up some strawberry kefir because it's been a little bit. Got some half and half. And then for breakfast stuff, we picked up our silver dollar pancakes. Those have become a regular lately. We got the uh, white cheddar macaroni and cheese. Um, apple and cinnamon instant uh, oatmeal, that's for Dean. And then he also wanted the uh, Frosted Flakes. We tried those last time, they're really, really good. They taste just like the regular ones and they're only two bucks a box, so I think that's way cheaper than the actual, I don't know, name brand one. Uh, we went back to our Panda cereal and our Gorilla cereal. We also got some woven wheat crackers for cracker sandwiches. Caleb wanted some of this butternut um, squash soup, and this is kind of sweet. Caleb also wanted the uncured sliced corned beef, and if you saw our St. Patrick's Day video, he made it all by himself, so he plans on cooking dinner one night this week. I got the buttermilk biscuits, or as the kids call them, biscuits. Um, this time I did the organic brown uh, eggs, because we had it in the budget. My favorite already frozen, ready to go tenderloins. Sliced mozzarella for sandwiches. My friend from our YouTube group, as well as here on YouTube, she has a channel called Dandelion Greens, and I think a blog as well. So she made these, and she said that she made them in the oven, and they came out really good, and we've always tried them on the stove. I have my favorite tea here, and this is actually caffeine-free. I think I drank like two boxes worth before I realized it was caffeine-free. Two things of corn two things of Joe O's, two things of kidney beans. We also picked up the cocoa batons. These things are good. You can eat them in one sitting. I got the um, granola and three berries for me. And I thought my kid would want the blueberry, but he was like, no, I want multigrain. I don't know. The whole wheat slam bread, we use that for sandwiches for the kids. The Tuscan pain bread, I love that for myself. Noah and I love the rosemary and thyme sunflower seeds. Um, we got the roasted turkey breast and Caleb wanted ham, so we did ham again. Four of the apple banana fruit leathers, some corn chip dippers, and we've never done the sour cream and onion popcorn before, but for a treat, I figured why not. Oh my gosh, you guys, if you like Reese's peanut butter cups, I personally think these are better than the Reese ones. My husband is a tried and true Reese fan, and even he loves them, so I would give those a shot if I were you. But you have to get the milk chocolate. They have dark chocolate. Milk chocolate is the ones that obviously taste like Reese's. I've never seen these caramel bites before. Um, they're mini waffle filled caramel, and they have caramel in them, like inside, I get a little close. So in between is like caramel inside those little waffle wafery type cookies or something. Um, I seen someone pick this up in my Facebook group and they um, really liked this cleaner and I have never tried it, so we're gonna give that a shot. I got two of these toothpastes. I like to keep one upstairs in our bathroom and one in the downstairs bath. The kids brush their teeth in the morning in our hall bath and then upstairs at night in the upstairs bath so it's just kind of annoying to go up and down with toothpaste this way there's one on each floor and that will make busy school mornings easier I love this lotion it's by far my favorite this is the unscented they have a scented I've never seen one at our store in the Facebook group someone keeps one of these in her bedroom and then one at the kitchen sink I thought that was a great idea so I got that one for my sink I've never seen these before super amazing reusable kitchen cloths um, you can replace paper towels with these. They're super absorbent. They're washable and durable. Um, I got one in this lavender color and one in the orange color. 
Uh, I'll let you guys know how these work. They kind of remind me like a ShamWow type thing for the kitchen. Um, like I said, I'll let you guys know in the Facebook group if I like those or not. Alright guys, and then I just picked up some toilet paper. Um, I'm gonna do a subscription with Amazon and they like send you toilet paper every few months or something, but I needed that to hold me over. Alright guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you liked our haul. If you did, hit that like button and if you like my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. We would love for you to join our crazy YouTube family. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace! That's it. <laughs> right here. <laughs> but I do it better. Yes, he does. He's we neither one of us no, can like really no. do